Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I showed you how to design this interactive hero section using HTML and CSS. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. So let's get started. Alright, here I have logged into my blogger dashboard and the theme that I'm using is called Contempo Lite, which comes by default with blogger. So we need to add this to our website. So let's open the website. And this is how the website looks right now. So this is the Contempolite theme. Now we need to add this uh, interactive hero section to the top of our website. And we need to add it only to the home page. So first of all, let's go ahead and see how this website is structured. So let's right click and go to inspect. And uh, here we can see we have this header. And in the header, we have all the content of the header. So we need to replace this header with the current design that we have. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our theme. Let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And let's find the header tag. So I just press command F. If you're using Windows, you can just press control F and just start typing header and press enter. And we have the header tag displayed over here. Let's fold this by clicking on this triangle. And now let's go ahead and comment this out. So we can just type less than exclamation hyphen hyphen and end the comment after the header tag. So let's type hyphen hyphen greater than. So everything inside the header is now commented. Now if we save this and if we go back to our website. So let's go ahead and reload. Now we can see that the header is not being displayed anymore. So now let's go ahead and add this design to our blogger website. But uh, right now we don't have any navigation menu over here. So I'll just go ahead and simply create a really simple navigation menu over here. You can go ahead and uh, add your own navigation menu later. But for now, I'll just create a simple nav. Let's give it a class name of navigation menu. And here just create an anchor tag. And for the href, we need to add the link of the home page. So here I'll just type live blogger as the text. And uh, let's go ahead and add the href. So for the href, we will add the home page. So for that, we can go ahead and convert this to an expression. So we can just type expr colon href. And here we can add some blogger specific code. So here we can simply type data colon blog dot homepage URL. And uh, let's add some basic styles to this navigation menu. So let's go to the styles. Now these are all the styles of the theme. So I just go to the end and let's create a comment. I just type custom CSS and uh, let's type navigation menu. And let's set the position to fixed. And let's set the top position to zero. And uh, let's set the left and right to zero as well so that it extends the whole width of the screen. And let's add a padding of 32 pixels and let's add a background color of white and add a Z index of let's try 500 because it should be above all the other elements. Now if you go ahead and save this and if you go to our website and reload. Now here we can see we have this simple navigation menu and if I go to any of these posts and if I click on this uh, anchor tag will be taken back to the home page. So the link is working all right. Now, since we have added this uh, navigation menu as a position of fixed, we need to add some padding top to the other elements so that the content below the navigation menu is also being displayed. So let's right click over here and go to inspect and uh, let's take a look at the height of the navigation menu. So here, if you take a look at the navigation menu, we can see that the height is being displayed over here and it is set to 81.5. So let's go ahead and add a padding top of 81 to this page body because in the page body, we have all the other content of the website. So let's target the page body class. So here I'll just type dot page underscore body. And let's add a padding top of 81 pixels. And let's click on save. Let's go back to our website and reload. And now we can see that we have the correct spacing at the top. And if you go to the home page, everything is looking all right over here as well. So 
Now let's go ahead and add our interactive hero section. So let's go back to our theme code and uh, let's scroll down and go to our navigation menu and uh, let's go outside the navigation menu and uh, let's go ahead and add our content. So let's go to our source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's go to the index.html file. Let's copy all this HTML from here. So let's start from the header tag till the end of the header tag. So let's copy all of this and let's paste it over here. And we need to add all of this inside an if condition so that this is displayed only on the home page. So let's type less than b colon if and let's add a condition. And in the condition we have to type data colon view dot is home page. And let's close the condition after the header tag. So here let's type less than forward slash b colon if. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to update the URL of the images. So right now it is set to images forward slash the image name. Now we need to upload the image somewhere and get the link and paste it over here. So what I will do is I'll just go over here to our uh, dashboard and I'll just create a page. And let's go over here to pages and uh, let's create a new page. And here I'll just upload the image. So let's click on insert image button and let's click on upload from computer. And let's click on this browse button. And we have these three images. Let's select all of them and let's click on open. And here let's select the size as original size and OK. And here we can see all the images have been uploaded. So let's go ahead and get the URL. Now the URL is inside the href attribute. So let's copy this first one, which is for 1.jpg. So let's copy this. And let's paste it over here for images 1.jpg. And uh, let's go back and let's copy the URL of the next image. And this is the second one. So let's copy this 2.jpg. And let's paste it over here for the second image. And then lastly, we have the third image. So let's copy the href. And uh, let's go ahead and paste it over here. Right now, let's go ahead and copy and paste the CSS of our hero section. So let's scroll up and go to the CSS. And uh, let's add the CSS over here. So let's go back and go to the style or CSS file and let's copy everything from this line of code till the end and let's paste it over here. Right now let's go ahead and click on save and uh, let's see how it looks. So let's go to the home page and uh, reload and the hero section is not being displayed. So I think we have some problems in the code. Let's go back and uh, let's scroll down and go to our HTML. And uh, here in the if condition, we have some typo. So it should be is home page. So there's a typo over here. So let's tap H O M E P A G E. So now let's go ahead and click on save. Let's go back to our home page and reload. And now we can see that our interactive hero section is being displayed over here, but we have some problems in the styling. Since we added this navigation menu, the height is not matching correctly. So let's go to one of these posts and let's see whether it is being displayed and everything is working all right in the posts section. So for the home page, we need to change the height of this uh, hero section and we need to minus the height of this uh, navigation menu over here. So let's go back and the height of the navigation menu that we calculated was 81 pixels. So let's go over here to the header and uh, in the header, I'll just go ahead and set the height to calc 100 viewport height minus 81 pixels. So it will minus the height of the navigation menu. And we also need to add a padding top because uh, the numbers are not being displayed right now. So let's also add a padding top of 81 pixels. And then if you go back, we also need to change the color of the text. Right now it is set to some gray color. We need to change it to black color. So here, let's go ahead and type color black and let's click on save. Let's go back to our home page and reload. And now we can see that everything is working all right. And if you scroll down, we have the correct height for the interactive hero section. And uh, now let's take a look at the mobile version. So let's decrease the width of the browser window. 
and this is how it will look on smaller screens and we have some problems in the smaller screen because uh, we have set the height to 100 viewport height so that's why if you take a look at the scroll bar over here on the right side here we can see that the scroll bar is reaching the end when we go to the end of the hero section and then it is starting again so here when we go to the mobile version we need to change the height so right now the height is set to this calc 100 viewport height minus 81 pixels so let's go to the mobile version and uh, this is the mobile version so here let's change the height i'll just tap height and let's set it to auto and let's go ahead and click on save and let's go back and uh, reload this page we don't have any problems in the desktop version so let's go to the mobile screen and everything is looking all right over here as well so that's basically how you can add this interactive hero section to your blogger website all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day